Morning everyone, um, great to see you this morning. Welcome to another motivational morning. Um, and this morning we're doing craft upcycling. So I've just quickly ran around the house gathering everything. I've even just tipped the soup out of this uh, into a pan for my lunch. Um, so we've got craft upcycling uh, this morning. So you need we're going to do something with these cans. We've also got some toilet rolls. Um, I've got a bottle and I've got, oh, I'm covered in paint already. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm not sure where that paint has come from. Hang on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm covered in paint already. Okay, I'm turning blue now. Um, oops. Uh, so yeah, we're going to, um, let me just rub that off our new tablecloth. You want to cover your surfaces uh, so that you don't get covered in paint like I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, cover your surfaces um, and yeah, I've put some card down on this surface. Uh, my husband might kill me. <laughs> I've only just put this tablecloth on. There we go. It's coming off. Yeah, acrylic, if you get to it quickly, it will come off. So uh, I'll give that a bit of a scrub later. Um, so we're going to start with a bottle. This was just a bottle that had smoothie in it. I've got some paint ready as well, hence where the blue paint has just come from. <laughs> um, and I have turned a bit blue, a bit like an avatar this morning. Um, so we saw this really cute uh, crafty upcycle uh things uh, on Pinterest. So I'm going to have a go this morning. It's a cat related one as i own our program of a program coordinator loves cats so what i'm going to do is draw onto here a cat so i'm drawing an outline with a marker pen oh it looks a bit like a rabbit this but anyway it can be easter themed if you want so so i'm going to draw a cat so ears at the front and then I want a tail that goes up at the back. So I'm going to try and cut this out. Let's see. So there's a tail on the back. You'll see as I'm cutting it out that's its tail. And then I've got some scissors. If you're doing it with kids, you might want to assist the children. Uh, I've got some big scissors because it's, uh, it's quite a hard bottle. So I'm just going to cut into my bottle. So make an initial hole and then you can uh, cut round. So there we go. Uh, I'm in. And then I'm going to make a little planter out of this. So that's the plan this morning is to make a planter. Um, you might want to use a bottle. This bottle's a bit ribbed uh, and is a bit harder to cut into. If you've got like a Pepsi bottle or anything that's a bit smoother, it might work a bit better, uh, but I quite like the square shape of this one. So I'm going to cut a tail. Um, let's have a look. And I'm going to cut round. Here we go. Um, and go round like that. And then round here. Oh, it's quite tough to cut into, so do persevere. Take your time. I'm rushing this morning to just show you how you can get all these things done, but you don't need to rush. Take your time. So I'm just going to cut a bit out. It's quite sharp, this bottle. I think a Pepsi bottle would be better. I'm not advertising for Pepsi. Coke bottle or a squash bottle if you're healthier. And let me just grab some things from over here that we're going to need. Ooh, there we go. Um, so... Keep cutting in. I've got the tail here, and this is going to be a little planter for our seeds. So I've got a sunflower that's going to grow out of this one. So I'll cut down. How are you all this morning? I hope you've all had a good sleep. The weather was amazing last night. We had a barbecue in our garden, and um, we used the old fashioned barbecue the one where you have to wait for hours for it to light. Um, but we got there eventually. Although we did pre, I've got to tell, I've got to tell our secrets. We did pre-grill uh, the burgers because I'm a little bit paranoid about barbecues. So we pre-built, 
uh, we pre um, cook them and then we pop them on to get the smoky flavour. Um, so, but I did some I did some salmon on the barbecue and that came out really nice. So let's have a look. So we've got some ears. This is very makeshift. I'm sure if Iona was doing this one, it would be perfect because she's got two cats to model it on. So there's two ears and a tail. And then I've got some a big fat paintbrush. I love this paintbrush. It's really big and fat. I've got some water in an old broken teacup. Um, and then I'm good. I've got some white paint. I think we're going to go with a white, a white cat. So I'm just going to slap on the paint here. And then when we've done this, we're just going to leave it to one side to dry while I show you our other, uh, our other makes. So it's got a white tail now. I had to hunt round the house for paint. You could use any paint really, apart from watercolour. So if you've got poster paints, you could use those. Um, what else? You could use household paint. So we've got lots of half used tins that we've decorated with over the years. So you could use that as well. Um, so let me... Do -do -do. So while we've got the paint out as well, we're going to do some more painting. So I'm going to paint that and we'll come back to this at the end and have a look and put the face on. So remember, take your time this morning. I'm rushing away, uh, but do take your time. You can make it a lot neater than this. But this is uh, So there's our cat. Um, so I'm going to put him to one side to dry. Um, so I pop him on some card on our table to dry. So there we go. Um, so another crafty thing I saw. I'm covered in paint now. I'm gonna give up. <laughs> um, was using toilet roll tubes. Um, so a different height. So if you take them and you cut them, I'm gonna cut this one maybe three quarters down, and then that hi and i want to show you let me move the screen so you can see without it going backwards so they're different heights so this you can cut them a lot neater than me i've just uh just neaten up the edges as you're cutting uh and uh if you're a family you'll be able to uh build a bigger one because i'm sure you've got more toilet roll holders around the house um i'm gonna do a few of those different heights and this one's a fun one. I saw this. There's two ways you can do with this. So I'm going to paint them all different colours. And then we're going to layer them. We're going to glue them together. I might not be able to do it in this session, but I could show you when it's finished. We're going to glue them all together on a piece of card. And it makes a really cool pen holder. So you can have different uh, pens. It's just like a really nice idea for a desk tidy. Um, so I'm going to paint some of those. So I've got some different colours. Let's have a look. I've got a nice red. I've just added a bit of white into. So uh, with these you want to paint inside them as well as outside. So having a nice fat paintbrush is really, um, really good. Because you can just do it really quickly. And because the weather's so nice, you could go outside and then um, leave them to dry outside as well. And if you're really creative, you could put a pattern on. So after it's dried, uh, I'm just going to do the outside to show you, but do paint the insides as well. Um, I'm going to do this one red as well. Um, so yeah, so get creative with your paint. You could do animal prints on them. You could do stripes little hearts, whatever you fancy to jazz it up. Um, when it's dried, you could put masking tape over and then to do your stripes, you could just put lines of masking tape and then paint another colour over as well. So let me do that. So there we go. So I've got, I'll do three of them to show you for later. That I'll do a half on there. So... I've not got the paint out for ages. It's great to have the paint out, but um, I am a sucker for uh, not being prepared and putting a cloth down first. 
and my husband's always telling me off for that because I painted all our furniture at the weekend in some of it I did in the living room and I very carefully painted it with Annie Sloan paint um but there was a few drips on the uh, on the floor so I've been clearing up after myself but the the furniture looks amazing Oh, I'm going to sneeze. I've got hay fever and it's hay fever season at the moment, which isn't great. Um, but there we go. At least summer is coming. So I've got the paint bits out of the way. The other one I want to show you is this really cool. Um, you can tell we shop at Aldi. Fake ketchup. <laughs> um, so I, I made him finish this on the barbecue last night. So we like squirted so much on our our burgers so we could use this today I'd seen this uh, hack online so this is a way to make a bird feeder so what you need to do is chop off the top and um, so let me have a look if you want you can leave that on if you want if I'm not gonna spend time but you, if you want to soak it you can peel it off if you soak it in the water and um so let's have a look so I'm gonna just cut I think the best way to probably cut into it, I'm going to, it's a bit thinner here where this ridge is. So I'm going to, I'm just going to stab it with the scissors, but do this very carefully. And if you've, uh, if you've got children around, be careful with this one. You might want to start them off. This is where I dent our uh, table. <laughs> you might want to put actually before I dent our uh, dining table, which I think might be too late. Um, so hang on, let me uh, put a mat under. So I've got this old mat that we put candles on. So put something that's not going to get ruined underneath. Um, so, and then you can, you might want to just scratch into it a bit. It's quite hard to get into this one. I wonder what else we could use. Actually, let's have a look. If you've got a cutting knife, this would be the time. I'm going to use my other scissors. I've got my lovely birdie scissors. They might be easier to make a, a hole. Maybe some nail scissors. So this is the challenge, is how to cut in. I think once we're in, we could cut round. Oh, yeah, we're in. So, yeah, be careful if you're doing this with um, children. Um, just start them off. And sometimes the plastic can be a bit sharp, so just take it easy. Um, so I'm going to just follow that ridge around the top. There we go. There we go. So cool. So I've cut the top off. That took some effort. <laughs> I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, so, and then I'm going to neaten the top up. It's a lot easier once it's off to then neaten up the edge so it's not so splintery. And this is a really cool one because I don't know if you've got a tree in your garden that you could um, that you could hang it from. Um, you could put uh, some bird feed in it. What I'll do is I'll take a picture of everything when it's finished. Um, so I've got that. I'm going to put my bird food in there. Uh, and I want to put a hanger in it so that it hangs from the tree. So, again, I'm going to bring my mat back. I'm not risking uh, denting the table. So, uh, we want to put a hole in either side. So, ooh, you might want to. I think the better way to do this would probably be to use a nail and a hammer, actually. Uh, or some sharper scissors. So I'm going to keep doing this. This doesn't look very uh, health and safety. So yeah, just do it in the best way that you can find. Uh, probably a less dangerous way than this. Um, so there we go. Oh, I'm coming through. That's great. It, I can feel it coming through. So persevere. I think sharp nail scissors will probably be the way forward. There we go. We're putting a hole in it like that. So it's got a hole in the side. Um, I've not done a Blue Peter again this morning. Usually I've got one that I'd say, here's one I did earlier. Uh, but we've not this morning, we're just going for it. 
Uh, there we go. And I'll put a hole in the other side. Great. So we've got two holes. Um, and then you need some uh, twine. I'm going to grab... We've got the garden twine that we used. Oh, thanks for the light, guys. Um, we've got garden twine, so I'm going to get the garden twine out. Um, whew, that one was like a workout, trying to get that sorted. Uh, but we're there. So, um, And then twine, I'm just going to take some twine. I might double twine it. And you're basically making a loop to hang it onto the tree. So I've got two, two layers of the twine. And I'm just going to cut that. So, uh, my uh, reef that I did last week is still going strong on our front door. Oh, I did it. I'm losing the track. I did it on Monday. It's uh, still looking good on the door. I've given it a spray of water to keep it going. Um, so, I'm just tying in the twine here. So, I have to do some bird watching and get a photo with the birds eating the seed out of it. So, there we go. I'm just going to cut that little bit off there. And then I'm going to tie twine on the other side to, to match. I gave this a good wash out um, before I did it. So, there's no uh, ketchup still in it. And then I'm going to tie that off. And there we go. So I'll get a picture of everything in situ for you, but that's our ketchup bird feeder. I'm going to put all the uh, the seeds in there and then they can hop on and get them out. It'll be great. Um, so we've got that. Um, let's have a look what else I've got. Oh, my cans. So I'm going to move all the painty stuff really out of the way. Because um, I don't want anything to get covered, so I'm going to just turn that piece of paper over. And then I've got this really nice um, paper. So this paper, I think it was Paper Chase. I love Paper Chase papers. I don't know about you guys. Uh, this is some really nice paper. Um, and I'm going to cover it so it looks like this. So, hang on. Ooh. So I'm gonna, this was a Pringles tub that I covered. In the paper and I thought it looked really cool as a pen pot and um, so I'm gonna use one of our Heinz ketchup uh, cans and cover it in this so what you want to do is you want to measure the distance so from I'm gonna leave the rim on because I want to see the silver rim so I'm gonna measure in between and it's 10 it's 10 11 uh, 10 3 10.3 centimeters so take your paper and you're going to measure 10.3 um, I tend to guesstimate I don't know about you guys with measuring but if you want to be precise you can you can also measure around uh, the circumference as well so maybe I should do that actually so it's 10.3 and then all the way around, you want a lip to overlap it though. So probably a tape measure would have been better for this part. So it's 20, I'm going to make it 28 centimetres to go round. So it was 10.3 with 28 centimetres. Um, so I'm just going to mark off 10.3. Um, with a pen oh, I'm going to mark because it's waxy paper I'm going to mark with my scissors so I know where I am so you want to mark off all the way along your paper you're going to mark off the the point so 10.3 10.3 okay so I can see where it is on my paper and then I'm going to cut so let's have a look If you're a lot more precise than I am, you might want to do this. Okay, I'm just going to cut right along. Um, you might want to do it on your cutting board. So, oh, what's that? Oh, 
what's that, Catherine? Sorry, I'm just reading Catherine's message. Would you talk... Oh, you can take off the can label. I'm being super lazy. I quite like the red, actually. So even if you see a little bit of the red, it depends, uh, it depends if you want to see the red or not. I don't mind having a little edging of the red. Um, but you can take it off if you be in if it doesn't match your colour scheme. Um, but I quite like I quite like a little nod to what it was before. Uh, but it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave mine on because I'm being lazy. Also, I ran out of time because I poured the soup into a pot for my lunch. If I had more time, you'd soak the cans in water, and that would loosen the glue on the paper, and you could take it off a lot easier. So I'm also being a bit lazy, uh, but there we go. So, um, but we've got one more minute. So let's have a look. And I'm just going to be, uh, I'm just going to get that straight. So I'm just going to um, sellotape down that edge. Um, but you can sellotape sort of if you double side, if you've not got double sided sticky, um, you can. Let me find my sellotape. What have I done with my sellotape? Look. I'm not going to, I can't find my sellotape, ever so professional. So what I'm going to do, you can either glue down that edge or you can double side your sellotape. So if you loop it the wrong way round, so the sticky sides on the outside, you can just sellotape that down. And there you've got a nice new pen holder. Woohoo! So you can put all your pens in it. Um, and if you're really jazzy and want to go over the top, I made a little flower as well so I'm going to tie my little pom-pom flower on uh, to make it extra special so let me put that on uh, just to just to go wild why not um so let's have a look so it's it looks like a zebra doesn't it so let me tie that off so we've got um a little pom-pom flower just to make it a bit of a bit of interest a 3d flower -er. I made that to go on a present, but uh, there you go. I've, I've frilled it up. So there we go. So let's just have a look at our little cat. Is he dry? He's nearly dry-ish. Um, I'm just going to pop a nose on him so you can see what he looks like. He's, he's, a, hmm, he's an interesting cat. Let's have a look. I'm sure you guys, if you've got time, he w could do a fantastic uh, one. So I'm just going to put him on, so you can see, I'm just drawing a little face on, so there's our cat, um, So and then I'll send a picture of our toilet roll pen holder and our bird feeder, um, so that you can also see those. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this morning, be careful with the scissors is my main um, learning from this morning, <laughs> don't dent any tables um, and also uh, if if you're doing it as a family uh, get get the parents to use the sharper scissors um, but I hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll see you tomorrow tomorrow's session um, is David Gilbert um, talking about artwork that he owns he's a curator uh, so he's got some cracking pieces he wants to talk to us about um, so enjoy and at 1pm we've got today we've got Craftanoon uh, with Magdalena Aaron so look forward to seeing you then bye